Hey guys, it's Vit from Flash Pro Tuning. Just wanted to show you the eDyno today. It's actually a web-based application that I've written. Most of you have seen what the graphs look like as we've been posting them on 8th and taking care of eDyno requests. And I'm not going to tell you what the website is right now because it's not quite yet available for the public to use and I don't want you hammering my server since you can't get to it anyway. But we will be releasing it very soon on Flash Pro Tuning. FlashProTuning.com will be the home of the infamous eDyno and we're trying to handle requests through there right now as the thread on 8th Civic has just become insane to keep up with and we've got a fairly automated form on, on Flash Pro Tuning that will make it a little bit easier for us to handle all your requests while we prepare to do a public launch of the software. But I'll do a couple different videos that will cover a few different cars. We'll do an NA Civic with this first one. We'll do a boosted Civic and then an S2000. And I'll try to cover different points as uh, I get to them. Let's just jump right in and upload the NA Civic. And this is actually Teague's. He requested this from me a little while back. And I'm going to upload it with this option select. And he does have an FG2. I will show you what this does right off the bat. I'll upload this and I'll upload another one with the trimming disabled. And I'll hit graph. And as you can see, a big difference. The reason for this jitteriness is the amount of resolution. The RPMs just go all over the place. The, the values the actual power values end up just jumping all over the place given how much resolution there are there just is in the graph and we don't really want that we want a really smooth graph and this is an algorithm I built in to basically right off the bat take care of all that noise that we get in the data logs so this one will actually toss it and point out a few other things default values for the most part here. The vehicle weight is actually filled in the first time you upload a data log based on what you picked here. As you can see we support multiple different vehicles, S2000, Civics, RSX with the K-Pro and of course the Type R's. And when you pick which vehicle you're uploading it will preset the gear ratio in the final drive. We've been asking for you that in the past. Probably won't be asking now since we'll be just be asking for what kind of car unless you have an FG2 with the FD2 final drive. In that case, you'll have to specify so we can adjust it and to give you a more correct, uh, well, more accurate graph. And we do also ask for the weight, particularly the passenger weight. Unless you've uh, done weight reduction on your car, this default will take care of it for us. And just graph and Teagues. 288 with the default smoothing parameters which work pretty well for the most part. Um, Teagues loves to go downhill so his numbers are always inflated. Just kidding Teagues. He's actually got the K24 from Goal Power which they're providing for us. Looks like an awesome build and makes pretty good power. But let's show you how the SAE correction works. Just upload the same log and well actually this no trim will just say goodbye to and look at these side by side same smoothing but we'll add an SAE correction and I'll just use a local zip code which obviously does not apply to Teagues because he's in California but we'll look it up and it will use the zip code to look up the current conditions including the elevation and you'll see that we won't use this if you put in a request and we do it like the next day it won't be accurate if we use the zip code for uh, to look up the SAE correction and it's 24 hours later so we'll generally skip that unless you're at really high elevation which you just need that SAE correction to get your power figures in the ballpark for what a Civic normally graphs and that's just simply how elevation affects any car now if you want to get an SE correction and we're not available to graph it right away you can always look up the, these values the elevation pressure humidity 
and temperature and post these values for us at the time of your pull and we'll fill these in manually without the lookup and, and that way you can still get your SAE but I mean it's not a must but we'll save that regraph and you can see made a bit of an impact and the other thing I wanted to show you that's pretty cool is the air fuel suggestion you do have our target but on each pull I also have you can click to view and it will tell you the approximate change in percent to hit the target that you've selected here and as you can see both the pulls have the same air fuel so same correction and it goes 100 RPMs at a time which for us not that useful will more useful is the 500 RPM increments as that's where most of the breakpoints are on the Civic calibrations but still a nifty feature to have now let's turn this SE correction off and I'll show you what the smoothing does we'll smooth just use this portion to smooth but we can use all three to create a larger smoothing factor but this should do it just to sh kinda show you something we'll regraph and as you can see the smoothing cleaned this up right here um, when you pick out a road you try to look for something smooth and level but sometimes it may look smooth but you'll run into like a little dip and then it just picks right back up towards somewhere in your pull and with the smoothing cranked up on this pull it makes it fairly obvious that there is a bit of a bump up here somewhere and I mean not a big deal the smoothing can take care of it but can, it can only can take care of it so much and it looks like even with that he's still making pretty decent power and I guess that's it for this first video stay tuned for the next one and I'll go ahead and do an S2000 one Bit out.